In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the engine water pump on your Ford Focus. It's located on the right side. Let's get started. We're going to start to drain the coolant. To do this, open the petcock on the radiator. This is on the bottom left. Open this and allow the radiator to drain. Before you open this, be sure that you have a collection bucket under you. Remove the radiator cap. This is going to make our coolant drain a lot faster. Close the radiator drain. Install the cap. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the coolant reservoir. Remove the bolt. Pull the plastic lines out of the clip. There's a clip in the back holding the coolant reservoir. We're going to use a flat blade screwdriver. Get behind this tab. Pop it up and slide the reservoir over to the side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to crack the bolts free on the water pump pulley. We're going to do this before we remove the belt. You don't want to take them out, you just want to get them loose. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the four lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts for the splash shield. There's one more right behind it. Remove the bolt and remove the splash shield. Using a 15 millimeter socket, we're going to get on the tensioner pulley. Pull the tension off of the pulley and remove the belt. Remove the belt. Let the tensioner slide back. Remove the water pump pulley bolts using a 10 millimeter socket.
Remove the bolts and the pulley. Using an eight millimeter socket, remove the three bolts for the water pump. Remove the bolt. Be sure you're removing the right bolt here. There's two side by side. One is for the timing cover. This one is for the water pump. Be sure you're removing the one on the right. Our last bolt is gonna be located under the water pump. This is another bolt where it's right next to a timing cover bolt. Be sure you're removing the right bolt. Remove the bottom bolt. Before removing the water pump, be sure you have a catch can under you. Wiggle the water pump. If you don't get any movement, you may need to take a soft face hammer and tap the side of it. Remove the water pump. Using a razor blade, we're gonna clean the surface where the water pump is going to sit. We don't wanna take off any material or mar any surfaces. We just wanna get rid of any corrosion. Go around and clean the whole surface. Use a rag to get any oil and dirt out. Using a clean rag and some parts cleaner, we're gonna spray our rag and then clean the surface for the water pump. Install the O-ring onto the water pump. Once you have it on, inspect it, make sure it wasn't cut or torn while installing. Using a bit of new coolant, we're gonna wipe it on our O-ring. This will help it slide into the engine easier. Install the water pump. Get it lined up. Make sure the water pump is fully seated. Install the bolts for the water pump. Get these started by hand. Get them down as far as you can by hand. I'm gonna go around and get all of these snug before I torque them. Torque the water pump bolts to 89 inch pounds. Install the pulley and get the bolts started. Get the bolts bottomed out onto the pulley.
install the belt down into the car. I'm going to put it around the power steering pulley. Get it started there. I'm also going to try and work it around the AC. Pull the belt over. Put it around the smooth idler tensioner. Get it up and around the alternator. Get it down around the tensioner. Push it up towards the water pump. Get it around the water pump pulley. Pull it back. Get it around the condenser. Make sure the belt is sitting correctly in all of the pulleys. Release the tension on the tensioner. As you do this, pull the belt around the crankshaft. Install the belt, be sure it's riding on the ribbed pulleys. Be sure it's sitting correctly on the flat pulleys. Install the splash shield. Get the bolt started. Snug them down. Install the wheel. Install the lug nuts. Get them started by hand. Snug the nuts down. Torque the lug nuts to 94 foot-pounds in a cross pattern. Using a pry bar to hold the studs of the pulley, torque the pulley to 18 foot-pounds. Install the coolant tank. Be sure in the back that it sits down on the tab. Get the bolt started in the front. Snug it down. Install the plastic lines into the clip.
remove the cap for the coolant reservoir. I'm going to install an adapter for a coolant funnel. Fill the reservoir until it's at the max line. Remove the funnel. Install the cap. Start and run the engine. Hold it at 2500 RPM for approximately eight minutes until the thermostat opens, then for another three minutes after the thermostat opens. Increase the engine speed to 4000 RPM and hold for five seconds. Return the engine speed to 2500 RPM and hold for another three minutes. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool. Check the engine for any leaks. Check the coolant level in the expansion tank and fill as necessary. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.